Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders. Welcome to this video. I just thought I'd turn the camera on for a moment because usually with most of my videos, you don't get to see me personally. So I just thought I'd say hi. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about day trading with a small account. Right now, the world is really gripped by the Corona virus. And as we know, the stock markets, the futures markets are in disarray in many ways. The greatest challenge for so many of our members and for the general public uh, if you trade futures uh, and many other markets the margins have gone through the roof the day trading margins etc so what I'm going to do is just run through in today's videos with some alternatives for you and some ideas for you so I don't have all the answers perhaps but I've got a lot of them so let me now um, I'll turn this uh, camera off in a moment but one thing I did want to say also look we'll pro I'll probably try to keep this to about 30 40 minutes maximum so uh, I do have some handouts so I'll show you where I've uploaded those for you as well so you'll be able to download the handouts that I refer to in today's session so let's get to the PowerPoint so first of all traders there is uh, let me pull up this disclaimer oh now I should really say this here uh, as always my videos are all real and unedited so this is really if you've got a trading account of 500 to five thousand dollars now we're seeing at the moment with the ES the initial margin required for the ES I think is around 13,000 uh, you you're way up there with the black gold with oil at the moment so we will look at those margin requirements in a moment so I tend to find that most traders have an account size if you're new or if you've been struggling perhaps of this sort of size so I'm going to show you though you can still do really well with a small account so I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, don't trade with the rent money if trading hasn't been kind to your traders please take your time on trading in sim now very very quick advertisement from the sponsor being I there's never been a time a better time of course to master the art of day trading come and join my monthly coaching group We've only it's only $97 a month for eight live two-hour sessions they are recorded I've now got over 200 members that attend every month in those sessions uh, some have been with me for two years now why about 30 uh, about 30 of the traders that attend are full-time traders so they tend to send in their charts and other information so it's fantastic so it's only $97 a month you can join for one month that automatically renews each month but after one month if you choose it's not for you uh, you simply just email me three days before the renewal and your investments been $97 and I'll quickly show you in a moment what you get for that so right, stay with me it's only going to be a quick one uh, or you can buy the uh, annual plan which is 597 which uh, entitles you to 26 live and recorded coaching sessions over the year it's only uh, $6.25 for a two-hour session and traders the results that my members achieve are incredible and many of you have seen the testimonials I'm not going to pull them up so very quickly I will be here all day <laughs> very quickly what we cover we go through dozens of trades a day or potential trades what time frames when not to take a trade where to put your stop we spend a lot of time on the psychology of trading NLP strategies uh, each session there's a, a comprehensive marked up chart so you can go back remember trading is a pattern solving exercise uh, this is just give you an idea if you each month you join you have permanent access to each of these folders so this is two years of folders and within each folder you've got eight uh, separate folders with handouts now see these down the bottom here these are the handouts and PowerPoints from just one session so there's a ton of additional handouts that you receive as one of my coaching members and each week you'll tend to see or and each month there are new additional handouts as members send their results in etc as we come up with enhancements so if you're serious about a tra your trading career uh, for $97 a month traders there's nothing else out there globally come and join me 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every Tuesday and Wednesday evening Eastern Standard Time okay let's now get into the lesson so when considering 
and this is normally speaking okay so when considering a market to trade we know that every market has its own personality and this is sort of like the checklist that we would go through and it doesn't matter whether you trade futures Forex or stocks number one what sort of trading funds do I require and what are the broker requirements okay number one very very important you know can we afford to trade that market and that is one of the great challenges that many traders are facing right now we've still got a lot of traders now I know you can go and trade for an example the uh, Forex market and trade the micros but many traders don't want to trade Forex and the commissions uh, are a lot fairer when you trade futures uh, of course commissions can be quite low on stocks but the challenge you can have with stocks of course um, uh, is the day trading margin rule okay so the pattern trading rule so 25,000 so that sort of puts out a lot of traders initially so if and, and when I show you actually I shouldn't say if but when I show you some alternatives for you to consider here's some key considerations does the market trend does it have a good daily trading range because in the end we want to jump on the bandwagon we want those trends yes we will take the CT trades the counter trend trades once we're consistently profitable but it's very important that we it, it's a trending market does it have good daily trading volume what are the best hours to trade and of course many futures markets are open uh, 23 hours a day now uh, we've got there what are the best chart times uh, that is the lower the better because of stops and that's one of the benefits I'm going to be showing you of the micros with the micros if you're a newer trader what you can do now is trade a higher time frame and even though you still may put your stop under a swing low or swing high because it's a micro account for an example as you'll see in a moment your stop loss is still reasonable but let me get to the charts to show you this and you and you'll get the picture uh, so uh, what are the best strategies to trade of course a strategy that works on oil should work on the ES unless it's perhaps a new strategy but any technical based strategy it should work on any market and one of the best targets and stops so these are the questions that we ask on every particular market we trade now this is very very important this is where it's become very challenging for a huge majority of the traders if we consider a maximum risk of 2% and please if you're a brand new trader don't buy into the nonsense of four or five or six percent risk as I still see out there as a member you hopefully have watched all of my introduction videos and you know really that is financial suicide it's very important your maximum risk is two percent and over time you want to drop that down okay so if we take say a, a six thousand dollar account which is fairly typical okay and have a maximum stop of $120 what it means to you financially is that you have the potential there of earning $10,000 a week within 18 weeks and please remember you'll find this compound sheet so you can play around with these figures uh, on my Google Drive so with this table if you've got a $6,000 account you're earning 200 a day which is sort of a reasonable amount to be earning it's okay you can do a lot better of course as you gain the experience and each time you double your capital you start trading a second contract you've got an incredible future ahead of you now as you build your account you then want to lower that two percent risk but what if you don't have the six thousand dollars and that is really what this video is about and in this case six grand two for many of the standard markets that we would trade with six thousand the margins are way up there so let's just quickly look at these margins and you'll see what I'm talking about so I'm with TradeStation so if we look at TradeStation traders we look at the if I scroll down here and we look at the ES okay the standard ES right now the initial margin is 13,200 and the maintenance margin is twelve thousand dollars so basically you need thirteen thousand two hundred now I know you've got an initial you can actually use uh, I'll have a day trading rate of 25% of that 
but don't forget the 2% risk now if we go down to the micros so the micro ES behaves virtually identical to the big contract you only need thirteen hundred and twenty dollars if you look at the NQ so if you look at volume being traded number one is the uh, MES which is the micro ES which is a dollar 25 a tick and I just should point this out for brand new traders the ES trades at $50 a point which is $12.50 a tick so there are four ticks to a point the micro is 10% of that value it's $5 a point or a dollar 25 a tick okay so 10% of the size and you'll actually see then that the requirements the initial margin requirements are 10% of that as well now that's got an incredible volume as you'll see in a moment then you've got the micro NQ which is the next one down now there at the moment you really need sixteen hundred and fifty dollars when they first launched these contracts you only needed uh, six or seven hundred dollars but at the moment what we've got the issue is this extreme volatility then you've got the EM and other micro contracts so what if you've got five thousand dollars what are some of the other markets you might consider well if we go to the European market if we go to the Bund now uh, at the time of recording this the uh, USD to the the, the euro was um, what is it uh, it's a dollar ten so that would be about four and a half thousand US dollars to trade the Bund and as we'll see if we get time I'll quickly go to the Bund chart and you just see there's some great trading opportunities on the Bund look you do have the uh, euro stock x50 which on trade stations FESX you said again up around six thousand dollars with that market now the next ones down you then got the currency futures if we look at the euro currency uh, you've got um, uh, 2,500 margin required the next with the highest volume is the yen you're up there at uh, 4,400 but they're also very um, uh, you know you got great trends in those markets at six dollars 25 a tick uh, and by the way with the bond and the euro uh, euro stock x50 it's uh, 10 euros uh, per tick or per point uh, and uh, so that would make it about eleven dollars USD now we now come down a little further a market where the margins have remained quite low is the 10-year note under the interest rates the financials you only require twenty two hundred dollars now all of these margins that we're seeing here the initial margins are set by the exchanges so they're usually telling the brokers on what the minimum margin has to be and the brokers want to get you there as a client but if they see that the volatility may be extreme or there's some issues they may ask for you to put up more of a margin which they'll display on their sites now if we get down to the yellow metal down to the gold that's 1065 or 10,000 you can see it's way up but look at crude now crude we kick butt on day in day out however right now you're sitting at eleven thousand dollars so it's way up there now they will come down but let's go back very quickly and look at the PowerPoint so we can see here for many traders this is out of your reach but then if we look at these micros now please for my forex traders here uh, yes the same applies of course in trading the micros or the minis the compound table I'm about to show you is just as applicable I don't want to seem like I'm neglecting you however we've got many many futures traders and so we can see this come out uh, just uh, a week ago is that it's been a record amount of contracts traded uh, on the micros it's huge and typically we're seeing on the micro ES nowadays five to eight hundred thousand contracts a day trading hands and so it's absolutely incredible now very quickly if you trade the micro ES it's a dollar 25 a tick or five dollars a point on the, the Russell it's 50 cents a tick or five dollars a point on the Nasdaq the same applies and then we've got the uh, the, the DJ which is 50 cents a tick there now these because of a low account requirements and because you get great uh, movement in the market these are a real alternative 
now if you're going to look at the margin requirements on the ES the MES it was about uh, 13 1400 dollars so we're well within here um, our requirements now here I've got a stop of $30 now if you're trading a four tick Renko or a one point really your stop should be no more than 14 ticks and I'll show you what I mean on a chart and if you're using a rule of one entry members you're only looking at a $12.50 stop okay so your stops are way down there however you're still going to be restricted to how many contracts you can trade now if you put 1500 in your account and you target 30 a day and this is something I want to point out it's it's really the miracle of compounding and building your account now you know traders get so impatient time will pass anyway traders so why not learn how to trade the right way so if you're targeting $30 a day and I'll show you how to, how you've got the potential of romping that in each day and if you start trading the second contract every time you get an, an additional uh, $3,000 we can see here that within where are we here you've got the potential of building your account there to trade the ES the big contract there in around week 26 so your weekly income is a thousand a week which is nothing to be sneezed at anyway uh, and your capital is now 12,000 and that's on only earning $30 a day now the next one here is what if you went for $40 a day well we that's got a huge effect we can see here that our capital is up to around 10,000 by week 19 on 40 and let's go for a target that I know you can achieve follow the strategies put the time in and we can see here that our accounts grown to 10,000 within 15 weeks uh, and we're up there and potentially earning 10,000 a week by week 26 27 if you stayed with the micros but there is one little challenge with the micros and particularly it's the commissions on a large contract a standard ES contract at 50 a point you're going to be paying around four dollars fifty commission round turn okay so basically two dollars forty two twenty five in and two twenty five out now with the micros you're going to be paying typically anywhere from uh, uh, 90 cents with one broker I know if you've got a lifetime license for their trading platform up to two fifty three dollars I've seen some brokers basically ripping the clients off but you know if you do your research with the major regulated brokers it's anywhere between 90 cents and just say a dollar fifty will be your average so as you build your account you do want to consider moving over to the larger contracts because some um, other commissions will drop down dramatically but as I said I will show you in a moment how we're going to get up to that $50 and I've got a handout for you on this but then you've also got as I mentioned the uh, the micro futures sorry my, my apologies the uh, currency futures there and they're really the best in my opinion the pounds also good uh, 625 okay account size there if you've got a $70 stop now with a $70 stop that's going to be if you've got an 11 tick stop it's going to get you up there and in stops by the way I like to include the commission okay that's really being honest so you need around three thousand uh, dollars in that account size so we get up there with targets of 10 ticks 62.50 to 12 ticks you get these sorts of moves every day in these markets now I'm going to show you some handouts and uh, we'll quickly go to the charts as well but let's just look at some handouts so if we go to my Google Drive I just want to show you where these are now first of all a lot of members get lost with new materials coming out and as you know um, we've got lots of folders uh, on there and if Google Drive sorting if you click on that I've uploaded done a little PDF for you on how to sort by date in the individual folder any new handouts or videos okay so uh, that's under a little folder called Google Drive sorting okay have a look it'll show you how to find things how to find uh, any new uploads now I have opened up a new folder called day trading with a new account 
where the handouts I'm about to show you are in there but also you'll find any new handouts or recordings in this folder called new recordings and uploads okay so if you go there and you can then sort them uh, by date and there's a lot more a lot of new videos I'm doing at the moment okay so you'll see the links there to the videos and any handouts that are there as well so let's go and have a look at some of these handouts I've got here first of all I've just got a handout there on the 10-year note which we'll quickly look at um, uh, as an alternative if you've got an account of around two two and a half thousand dollars it's a lot slower but we've got a lot of members that love this market you've got a high volume of turnover yet it's um very stable it's slow it's like a lumbering giant okay so that's just the tick value in trading the 10-year note now the important ones I really want to show you here then is this one here on trading the MNQ using an 8 tick uh, or a 16 tick so a 2 point or a 4 point chart the higher the time frame the slower the chart so here there this will give you your stop values etc then there's one there on the MES the same thing then we've got here on the MES uh, in the NQ what I call the steps and I'll show you that in a moment when we go to the charts what I mean by steps because what you've got to have is a target you want to know where am I going to break even if my risk is say $17 using a t1 entry a super scalper okay we want we know down here we really want to be um, achieving eight steps okay and you'll see what I mean on and this is on a Renko chart by the way if you're trading a tick a time base chart etc you can see there that um, what you really need to be earning is 16 ticks which is $20 but on the Renko which so many of our members love we talk about steps and if you're going for a higher time frame uh, you'll see that on a separate chart the next thing here is uh, over here we then got the Renko size charts now let me say this I've given you four alternatives here you always want to be trading or I recommend the lowest time frame you want to have your entry chart your anchor chart one and anchor chart two the lower the time frame the smaller the stop okay the quicker the entry the quicker if you're working on a fixed target that you can actually achieve that fixed target now if you find the entry chart is too slow and up there I've got Globex in New York session on the micro simply replace that entry chart make it the anchor chart one and then have the anchor chart two and three as your anchor charts just step it up one notch and likewise with the um, uh, Globex session here with the MNQ if you're going to use Ranko just simply step it up now you might be happy to have fast moving markets and use market orders rather than buy stops etc okay so it, it really comes down to your trading style then I've just got a little document there a little trade station document there just on what margins are and what they actually mean so let's now go and have a look at the charts and a couple of things here I just want to uh, explain to you all right so what we're looking at just here traders we're looking at the uh, MES or so just scroll this oh no I can't scroll <laughs> up there it says MES you just can't see it so this is the MES four tick Renko or one point now I'm actually recording this uh, Monday morning my time down under in Australia we're in a sort of lockdown um, so I can't be in the US well I can be but I can't get over there at the moment um, so no I can't be because I can't get there <laughs> but I'd love to be there all right so um, and time wise down the bottom this is the open so this is Sunday night uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so the market opens the Globex market and let me say there's some great trading opportunities during the Globex session right the after hours market your broker will require in many cases that you have a full margin up uh, rather than the day trading margin but that's okay all right so you need $1,300 here now this is what I mean 
by steps and what I will do is I'll just turn this off because members in the coaching room say that this dot can be a bit distracting so let me just go to the little the little uh, like whatever we call it here the little cursor there so this is a step okay so one two three four five six seven so with Renko of course uh, I use both tick and Renko Renko are beautiful for smoothing out a chart however I'll also use a tick chart this is actually a high Kanashi chart here but I also use standard this is I'm just preparing this for a training session but uh, usually I'll have a tick chart there and um, uh, so I'll be looking at and of course I've got six screens so it makes it easier so normally this spread over oops sorry about that a number of screens so I'm looking at both tick and Renko because tick charts will sometimes pick up information that I miss out on the Renko but anyway Renko are beautiful for a new member if I use a rule of one entry and right here so I've got a questionnaire we can either use a rule of one entry or a t1 the super scalper so with a rule of one entry this is a 34b of course just there if I'm trading with a rule of one my stop loss if I use a buy stop that is have an order in one tick above the high of that low and one tick below here I've only got a stop there of $12.50 okay if on the other hand I want to go with the super scalper or the t1 entry to confirm the move my stops going to be up here once again uh, sorry my uh, my buy stop will be up here I want to put my stop loss just under here it means I've got a $17.50 stop now what I then want to really do is I want to cover both my profit and my I want to really cover sorry my risk with my target so just say I used a rule of one entry rule of one entry my stops going to be um, uh, 1250 which means I want six steps which will be $15 so uh, let's just say we got in at the close of this candle one two three four five six and you can see that tail ticked above so we definitely got our $15 now on the other hand if we've got a 1750 risk if we're not entering to the third candle here or one tick above we really or ideally want to be achieving eight ticks or eight sorry eight steps or twenty dollars so one two three four five six seven eight and it ticked above so you can see there I easily achieve that now if we go and achieve three of those trades a day by twenty dollars and let's just we won't talk losses in a moment but at the moment but let's just talk three of those is sixty dollars let's just say two dollars each so let's be savage on the commission okay you're netting then well over or well, actually 60 uh, you're netting there fifty four dollars per day okay and just there there you've achieved it and we're live in the markets right now okay so we'll see what's happening in a moment uh, so you achieved it there there and there now uh, members what have you got just here this is a 2b why is that a 2b look at your anchor chart there it is there you've formed a bet the farm and you've got a bounce on the 89 and this is 15 minutes after the market opens now even though you had some 34 B's coming down after the market open you've got to really wait five to ten minutes after the market opens but there we got 15 minutes thank you very much now the reason I, I put there and I may as well explain this why I said 34 B rule of one or t1 entry if you enter on the rule of one you're in earlier and you'll stop rather than being 1750 is only $12.50 so a lot of members though will trade using the short-term stochastic hooks or they'll use the super scalper but those more experienced traders particularly when you've got a great trend they will use a rule of one entry okay because they've got a smaller stop now we had a t19 why is this a t19 we can see there we had divergence no divergence on our higher time frames if we look over here and let me just do one thing here for you okay so if we look over here at our higher time frames no divergence okay we had no divergence and there's no divergence here from the open now 
uh, so that means we've got a t19 when we've got a t19 where do we target we target down here we're gonna target the uh, 34 all right and it come right through and it formed another 2b please remember the 2b's are your highest probability trade bang thank you very much now on the way up you had a if you were if you had have exited that trade you then had a 34 B there as well now if we then um, uh, and actually right now let's quickly go here we've now got right there right now we've got and when you should be in this trade if you're trading right now there is a 2d right there now okay so right now traders we've got a 2d right now our target is the 89 okay so here is our target right there right now okay now on the way up uh, you had that 2d there a pull back you then had another one there now that was a 2bd and those that are familiar any coaching members and I coaching members we watching this it was a 2bd but note the angle or the trend on my higher time frames look how um, you know we just had a really great uptrend on both high time frames so it means that you know you still got a very high probability to be there all right we then come up you had um, uh, no divergence there you had a bounce for a, for a 21 we'll just let this come down for a moment we'll see what happened but this uh, once again I'm targeting the 89 down here all right on this now taking a 2d whenever I take a divergence trade I must trade the super scalper okay what that means is my risk is $17.50 on a micro but one of the advantages you've got with these smaller accounts it's a lot easier for a new trader to say okay it's a round of drinks it's $17.50 I'm willing to take a I'm willing to execute the trades and you hear me talk about this regularly in the sessions that it's so important traders that you begin to think in probabilities with your trading that is the, the, the individual trade means nothing it's random someone with a fat finger can push a button somewhere in the world and execute a trade and and really what was a just a golden setup is basically kill your trade put your you know basically your trade fails but when you start to think in trade lots of 20 understanding of course that 2d's are what 2d's are a good 80 percent trade your 34b's are about 80 percent and and so are your 2b's sorry 34b's and so are your 2b's so it's very important that we don't think on the individual trade but we think in trade lots of 20 and you know don't forget to go to the trading psychology folder on my Google Drive traders and to make sure that you make Mark Douglas's book the disciplined trader and his videos your Bible okay as far as trading or your trading Bible perhaps I should say just there very very important now just while we're here on this trade and I wish I'd have executed this live in front of you we may get a bounce here at the um, uh, at the goal and of course many of these then turn into a t10 trade to the short side so we'll see if we get follow through just for a moment well we might even come back to this but uh, we have, my target is the 89 we break the 89 where is my next target it would be the midline pivot here now what we do want to do and sorry getting back to what I was saying about my risk my stop is one tick above there my entry was one tick if I had have entered would have been one tick below this third candle here all right means my risk is 14 ticks or 1750 so I need to achieve or ideally I want to see eight steps so there is one two three four five okay so I really want to see it tick down another good three steps to return me $20 now just why that's ticking away there if we then look at that once again $50 a day 50 a day makes one very very wealthy over time within a year traders you've got the potential um, up here uh, within 
27 weeks of earning 26 20 of 10,000 a week now I know you can't live on that but you can pay a few bills all by starting on a small account of fifteen hundred dollars all right if you want to drop it down the 40 make it a little lower it might take you there um, so what 35 weeks time will pass anyway and this is perhaps one of the greatest challenges that traders have and it's something called impatient impatient sorry they just want to make it they want to make it overnight you've got to treat this members as an internship as a 90 to 180 day internship and what's really important here is that you also remember let me just get this out the way again okay it's it's just so important here that you start off with two setups all right as a reminder two setups that you want to start with okay the 34b and the 2b do not counter trend trade when you first start okay um, and this is perhaps one of the greatest um, challenges that tra many traders have is wanting to pick uh, market highs and lows it can be like stepping in front of its a freight train okay <laughs> very important that I've been doing this for so for so long that as I see these patterns in a blink of an eye and of course in our coaching sessions this is what really uh, coaching is about where we go through literally dozens of trades but most importantly we go through looking at right hand side if I was to expand this let me just show you this okay let me just expand this out I don't want to see the whole day okay so this is what we do uh, with part of the coaching is and by the way I don't want to force you to join the coaching session so much is included I mean it's massive what you get in the day traders fast track program but if you really want to be live trading within 30 to 60 days invest the 97 a month you can quit at any time and what you get is massive but anyway here's what I what you're looking for and this is where it's so important that you learn to read the right hand side so right here we can see now see those tails these tails are tradable and they at the time look like reversal candles okay I recommend you can trade usually the first two tails but then we can see here we're rising now note the angulation see how the price action is now moving away from your EMA see this is where we want to really be on the lookout for a reversal see that tail then it's now getting towards a bit of a warning sign for me and bang now that white paper remember you don't see until the third candle but there's your first reversal now of course we come down here now I've got an entry signal to go short now do I have divergence here well it's certainly not great divergence okay it's virtually it's only that little hook over there it's not great at all okay now as a new member you don't want to take that okay you want to really be cautious and what I'm now looking for is a pullback usually we'll get a, a, a retracement a pullback to the gold remember follow the gold we want to be trading in the direction of the gold and our higher time frame so as we get a pullback I'm now waiting oh, I was about to say I'm waiting for the next reversal candle there it is right there okay now we've got a choice we've got a slingshot entry we've also got a ruler one entry or you wait until your third candle there and now you've got a super scalper entry so you've got a number of entries if we entered that as a rule of one another great thing about this small account your risk is only twelve dollars fifty now being the Globex session the market is so much slower it's easy to use uh, um, uh, buy stop orders okay so you can put an order in above the candle I know they're called bricks but I call them candles makes it easy okay to be stopped into that trade now because it's a stop at 1250 which is uh, technically five steps I'm really after six steps in total okay so I really want to see six steps there to return so what have I got there let's just say we got in on the close one two three four now now I will tell you there I would have been out there anyway because it hit five and a bit and I would have gone up to break even so I would have been stopped but I've now got another entry just there as a rule of one but anyway we kick uh, them rallying up all right now I get that 2d and as you know with that 2d I'm targeting down here I'm targeting 
uh, my $20 as a minimum now of course you can trail now to trail uh, all I'm simply oh, you can use either a parabolic star by the way I'm going a lot more uh, from what I expected to go for on this okay so I'm just I thought what the heck may as well give you a, a live lesson here uh, have I got my ATR no I normally I've got my ATR there all right on this is just a demo screen so normally I've got my ATR there so I can trail there uh, or I'm waiting for a complete reversal candle but it must close otherwise you get these these tails but once again we're expecting a bounce now we will come back to this so I, what I want to refer to you now is the NQ the Nasdaq what you can do is if say you've got um, $3,400 so let's just say you've got $3,400 what that means is you can trade both a micro ES and the NQ at the same time as well now the N the MNQ and the NQ in general uh, is very very volatile it's very very whippy and that's where you've got to be really cautious traders with how whippy it can be all right so what I've got here is a four point which is 16 ticks so it's a very high time frame and if we look at this here the markets now been open 1047 so it's been open two hours 48 in two hours 48 it's only moved that far trading the highest time frame there on the 16 tick now what it does mean if you are trading this high time frame your stop okay so your stop there's only $25 that is if I entered here but most it's only $25 what you might want to do and you'll find the uh, cheat sheet there in that folder on the Google Drive and let me just try to find it here and here it is right here you might choose to trade a two-point Renko um, on the MNQ now the two-point Renko means that my risk if I'm using a, a, a t1 my risk is only going to be $13 okay so I've got a low risk and there on steps there okay so if I've got a $13 risk to cover that I really need a seven steps to come down which would be $14 but what it comes down to is really really spending I can give everything but screen time okay and by the way it doesn't have to be two you might make this a three-point Renko which means then you adjust of course your anchor charts accordingly now remember on my Google Drive let's go back so for any new members watching this remember we've got um, uh, where are we here the times let's see is it under chart times I've actually uh, move this around a little bit so chart time frames in the chart time frames you'll see uh, a number of videos there and suggested tick values but what's the video there on how I set the chart time frames very important something is magical with those time frames okay <laughs> is that when you look at them the bounces that we get when we've got an entry chart your anchor chart one and two the formula that we use for the Renko on the range is the same but it's a different one remember with your tick time and um, uh, volume okay so make sure you re review that now what about then the 10 year note so we're looking at the 10 year note here and so since the market opened right there it's um, uh, it's barely you can see not a lot of room there and per tick value it's 1562 a tick and what you got there uh, market opens one minute too fast ah uh, you can take that one definitely so right there you've got there a 34b look at my downtrend beautiful thank you very much uh, it then turns in you've got it there is a super scalper you've got a number of different trades and it also then you get down here you then get a slingshot as well now when you look at this here uh, we well, only needed two thousand odd dollars uh, in your account they're four ticks so four ticks down is 62.40 so it really adds up so the 10 year note is another real alternative what I was also going to show you uh, was the have I got the Bund there let me just um did I bring the Bund this I'm just looking at this you can't quite see at the bottom there let me just pull down the bond I'm just going to pause the video for one sec 
now we now look at this traders and we've got the bond now here I've got a two tick Renko so it's 20 euros each uh, movement now when you've got a two tick Renko if you're using the super scalper it means you've got an eight tick stop if you're entering a trade using the rule of one you've got a six tick stop so a uh, basically an uh, 80 euros or a 60 euros but what you'll find with the bond uh, is you get a, a, a trends really well okay so it gets some beautiful trends and it opens at uh, 10 I think at uh, 8 15 Eastern it's not open uh, a full 24 hours uh, like the um, or 23 hours sorry like most of the futures markets the European exchanges are open gee what's it work out to be I think it's about 20 hours something like that but uh, it opens at 8 15 p.m. now your volume is not too bad uh, but, but what I love about the bond here is the trends okay and particularly when we use them in conjunction with our anchor charts it really kicks butt really kicks butt all right what I might do is just um, let's go and have a look again at how that um, ES trade uh, is working out now there we can see here as I mentioned earlier it come down and probably we get that bounce at the goal which is what we've got now okay so we've got that bounce let's just have a look at our anchor charts there now that's uh, it come down one two three four five we would have look at come down five and a half steps on that which is basically fourteen dollars and our risk is seventeen fifty now at the risk we we would and just so you know look once you hit really your five steps or once you come down 1250 or even ten dollars you you want to lock something in something in it is a CT trade what I wouldn't be surprised and what I'm looking at this here it's coming up a little bit too strong at the moment though is for a t10 to set up to go short again right and once again we'd be targeting okay we're targeting the 89 down here now if you're a new trader you wouldn't have taken that trade or I wouldn't recommend you take your CT trades because what you've got to do is really get used to exiting the trade taking the profits there and of course if you're up on the micro uh, $12 now on the large contract that would be $120 per contract okay 10 times that there is no way knowing you're going to give that back and that's why I say you've got to look at your break even point so if your target was say eight steps which is $20 once you hit five steps which is 1250 or 125 on the big contract I'm definitely gonna lock in 50 60 dollars okay you're not gonna give that back now I will sign off we are uh, uh, 40 um, uh, seven minutes into this now uh, so traders um, as I mentioned come and join my coaching we go through this uh, every week that is uh, eight sessions if you can't attend live you can watch your recordings but don't forget either way uh, it's great you have on board as a normal member uh, and uh, just uh, check that folder new recordings and uploads for additional materials as I produce them thanks traders uh, see you on the next video mm -hmm.